In this example, we need to solve 2x minus 5 equals 4 times the quantity 3x plus 1 minus 2. As you can see, it has an equals, so it's an equation. What's the highest degree on any of the x's? A 1, so it's a linear equation. And then our steps for solving linear equations, the first step is clear any denominators. I don't have any de denominators. The next step is to remove any parentheses using the distributive property. So that's the first thing I'm going to have to do is distribute that 4 into the parentheses. So the left-hand side, I'm going to leave exactly as it is. And on the right-hand side, I'm going to get 4 times 3x is 12x. And then 4 times 1 is 4 minus 2. So I've removed my parentheses. Now, can I combine any terms on the left? No, unlike terms. How about on the right? Yes, I have 4 minus 2. So I can combine those two terms. So I have 2x minus 5 equals 12x, and then 4 minus 2 is plus 2. So can I simplify the right-hand side anymore? No. So now I'm going to get x's on one side, numbers on the other. Does it matter which way round we do it? No, it's your choice. So in this case, I'm going to collect my x's on the right-hand side for a change. So I'm going to have to remove that 2x there, so I'm going to have to subtract 2x from both sides. Notice I line up my like terms to make life easy. So 2x minus 2x is 0. I get negative 5 equals 12x minus 2x is 10x plus 2. So now my x's are all on the right. I need my constants over here. So I'm going to have to subtract 2 from both sides. And 2 minus 2 is 0. So on the right-hand side, I'm going to get 10x equals negative 5 added to a negative 2, which is negative 7. And last step to get x by itself, I divide both sides by 10. These 10s here reduce, so I'm going to get x equals negative 7 tenths. So that is my answer. I have solved this linear equation. Now notice in this case, I wrote the negative with the numerator, or I could have written x equals, I can write the negative in front of the fraction and have negative 7 tenths. They mean exactly the same thing.